What is the greatest current regulatory challenge? The top of the supervisory agenda right now for insurance regulators is really the uh, long-term low interest rate environment. Um, clearly the monetary policy approach needs to accommodate growth uh, through low interest rates and assisting the banking sector, but that does have adverse implications for insurance companies. Life companies who may not be earning enough to pay long-term guarantees but also general insurers too who don't make the investment performance and therefore have more pressure on underwriting. And I think it's a current problem, even though the issue may only crystallize in the future, regulators need to tackle it early before the problem comes to a head. We need only look at what happened in Japan in the 1990s where there are a lot of insurance failures because of long-term low interest rates to realize that this is a priority for Europe now. As a result of the legislative landscape we're seeing today, the main regulatory challenge we face is the high level of uncertainty. We've seen changes in nearly all legislative aspects defining our business landscape. It's Solvency II, or it's a common framework for the supervision of international groups, but there's also a change in areas of social and consumer protection. And as we all know, our industry is a strong contributor to growth and stability, but we can only achieve this in an environment where we have regulatory certainty. Where will regulation be in 10 years' time? I think if you look back over the past 10 years, you've got to see that the key trend has been for more convergence of international standards, um, more harmonization of standards, if you like, um, for the insurance sector. And I think that's likely to be the trend going forward. The question really is, how far does it get? And at what level does it occur? I think in Europe, we're likely to see the emergence of a single European uh, rule book, in spite of the short-term challenges of getting Solvency II over the finishing line. So I think that will be a key trend in the next 10 years. On the supervisory side, I suspect that national supervisory systems will still be the main model of operation, but that crucially depends on whether we have any significant cross-border failures. If that happens, then I think we could have a game-changer and have more centralization of supervision in Europe as well. Well, 10 years might seem very far away, but it's not the case from a legislative point of view. We have to work together with regulators to achieve a more stable regulatory environment. And apart from that, my vision for 2023 is that there is an opportunity to have in place a transparent and consistent regulatory environment that will enable us insurers to focus our attention to helping our customers meet their changing expectations. We, our sector, help our people to take responsibility for their financial futures, for example, as regards of retirements. And we all know that individuals have to take much more responsibility. Governments and authorities are retreating. People are living longer. All these elements will have a lot of impact in our environment, but also for our customers. Will there be a global insurance standard? I doubt we're going to see a global insurance standard like the Basel Accord for the insurance industry any time soon. I think there's a lot of challenges to uh, get that progressed. But I think we will see further convergence at an international level, moving beyond uh, the core principles of the IIS into the comframe space. Um, I'd hope that happens both on the qualitative side, in terms of how supervisors interact with groups, and on the quantitative side but it'll be some ways before we get to a Basel-like standard. Um, that said, I think the game changer will be if we see greater convergence of accounting standards. If we really do have a common international approach for Europe, the US and Asia for insurance contracts and accounting, that could be the catalyst for faster acceleration of global standards on the solvency side too. Well, it's difficult to answer your question if we're not sure by what we mean by a global insurance standard. Do we mean a common framework or do we mean a one-size-fits-all standard? What I believe is that we need a common language which will allow a much better understanding and would also allow more informed discussions across the various jurisdictions so that we can understand the similarities but also the difference between the different systems. And from this, yes, we can develop a common framework. And it should be relying on a risk-based approach, 
but it should also allow for different starting points, which mean different economic and legal realities. And I believe therefore that the IIAS should focus on agreeing a common framework, which should be the basis to supervise international active groups, and this without creating a supplemental supervisory layers, but helping to achieve a common understanding of the group risk and financial situation.